Gout is often associated with various comorbidities, which are medical conditions that occur simultaneously. Some common comorbidities associated with gout include hypertension, high blood pressure, and gout. Hypertension is a common comorbidity in people with gout, as both conditions share similar risk factors and pathophysiology. Shared risk factors. Gout and hypertension share several risk factors, including obesity, excessive alcohol consumption, high sodium diets, and sedentary lifestyles. These factors can increase the likelihood of developing both conditions. Pathophysiology. Both gout and hypertension involve inflammatory processes. In gout, inflammation results from the deposition of uric acid crystals in the joints, whereas, in hypertension, inflammation can contribute to the narrowing and hardening of blood vessels. The interplay between inflammation and endothelial dysfunction, impaired blood vessel function, may be a contributing factor in the co-occurrence of gout and hypertension. Medication interactions. Some medications used to treat hypertension can increase uric acid levels, exacerbating gout symptoms. Diuretics, commonly prescribed for high blood pressure, can reduce kidney excretion of uric acid, leading to hyperuricemia, high uric acid levels in the blood. Beta blockers, another class of antihypertensive medications, can also impair uric acid excretion, increasing the risk of gout. Nonsteroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, often prescribed for acute gout attacks, can lead to fluid retention and increased blood pressure in some individuals. Management of hypertension in gout patients. Proper management of hypertension in gout patients involves a combination of lifestyle modifications, dietary changes, and medication adjustments. Lifestyle modifications may include weight loss, regular exercise, reducing alcohol intake, and managing stress. Dietary changes should focus on reducing sodium intake, increasing potassium-rich foods, and adhering to a balanced diet low in purine-rich foods. Given the close relationship between gout and hypertension, it is crucial for healthcare providers to monitor and address both conditions in their patients to improve health outcomes and minimize potential complications. Obesity and gout. Obesity is a significant risk factor for gout, as excess body weight can contribute to higher uric acid levels and increase the likelihood of developing gout. The relationship between obesity and gout is multifaceted, involving various physiological processes and shared risk factors. Physiological processes. Obesity can lead to increased production and decreased excretion of uric acid, resulting in higher blood uric acid levels. Excess body weight can cause increased synthesis of uric acid, as the breakdown of purines, chemical compounds found in certain foods and in our cells, generates uric acid. Moreover, Obesity is associated with insulin resistance, which impairs kidney function and reduces uric acid excretion. Shared risk factors. Obesity is often accompanied by other lifestyle factors that increase the risk of gout, such as sedentary behavior, poor diet, and excessive alcohol consumption. A diet rich in purine-containing foods, like red meat and shellfish, can contribute to hyperuricemia and increase the risk of gout. Alcohol, especially beer, can also raise uric acid levels and exacerbate gout symptoms. Comorbidities. Obesity is linked to other comorbidities, such as hypertension, diabetes, and metabolic syndrome, which can further complicate gout management. These conditions can contribute to increased inflammation, impaired kidney function, and other factors that exacerbate gout. Management of obesity in gout patients. Addressing obesity in gout patients involves a combination of lifestyle modifications, dietary changes, and, in some cases, medication. Lifestyle modifications may include increasing physical activity, adopting healthier eating habits, and reducing alcohol intake. Dietary changes should focus on consuming a balanced diet low in purine-rich foods, high in fruits and vegetables, and containing moderate amounts of low-fat dairy products. Effectively managing obesity in gout patients is essential, as weight loss can help lower uric acid levels, reduce the frequency and severity of gout attacks, and improve overall health outcomes. A comprehensive approach that addresses both gout and obesity can lead to better long-term health and quality of life for affected individuals. 3. Diabetes mellitus and gout. Diabetes, particularly type 2 diabetes, is often found in conjunction with gout due to shared risk factors and underlying pathophysiological mechanisms. Shared risk factors. Diabetes and gout share several risk factors, including obesity, poor diet, sedentary lifestyle, and genetic predisposition. 
Pathophysiology. Insulin resistance, a common feature of type 2 diabetes, plays a role in the relationship between diabetes and gout. Insulin resistance impairs the kidney's ability to excrete uric acid, leading to higher blood uric acid levels and increasing the risk of gout. Furthermore, the chronic low-grade inflammation often observed in type 2 diabetes can exacerbate gout symptoms, as both conditions involve inflammatory processes. Complications The coexistence of diabetes and gout can lead to increased risk of complications. For instance, gout may contribute to the development of diabetic neuropathy, nerve damage caused by high blood sugar, while diabetes can increase the risk of infections during gout attacks. Additionally, both conditions are associated with an increased risk of cardiovascular disease. Management of diabetes in gout patients. Managing diabetes in gout patients involves a combination of lifestyle modifications, dietary changes, and medications to control blood sugar levels. Lifestyle modifications may include increasing physical activity, losing weight, and reducing stress. Dietary changes should focus on a balanced diet low in purine-rich foods, high in fiber, and containing moderate amounts of healthy fats and lean proteins. In some cases, anti-diabetic medications, such as metformin or insulin, may be required to control blood sugar levels. It is crucial to monitor and manage both diabetes and gout in affected individuals, as addressing these conditions simultaneously can improve overall health outcomes and reduce the risk of complications. 4. Kidney disease and gout. Kidney disease and gout are closely related, as impaired kidney function can lead to reduced uric acid excretion, resulting in higher blood uric acid levels and an increased risk of gout. Conversely, Long-term, untreated gout can contribute to kidney damage in the formation of uric acid kidney stones. Pathophysiology. The kidneys play a vital role in maintaining healthy uric acid levels in the body by filtering and excreting excess uric acid. When kidney function is impaired, the kidneys become less efficient at removing uric acid, leading to hyperuricemia, elevated uric acid levels in the blood. Hyperuricemia increases the risk of uric acid crystal formation in the joints, which triggers gout attacks. Untreated or poorly managed gout can also contribute to chronic kidney disease, as the inflammation caused by uric acid crystals can damage the kidneys over time. Management of kidney disease in gout patients. Managing kidney disease in gout patients involves a combination of lifestyle modifications, dietary changes, and medications to control uric acid levels and protect kidney function. Lifestyle modifications may include maintaining a healthy weight, staying well hydrated, and reducing alcohol consumption. Dietary changes should focus on a balanced diet low in purine-rich foods, high in fruits and vegetables, and containing moderate amounts of low-fat dairy products. Limiting high-sodium foods and excessive protein intake can also help protect kidney function. 5. Cardiovascular disease and gout. Individuals with gout have an increased risk of cardiovascular disease, including heart attack and stroke. The relationship between gout and cardiovascular disease can be attributed to shared risk factors, systemic inflammation caused by elevated uric acid levels, and the impact of certain gout medications on cardiovascular health. Shared risk factors. Gout and cardiovascular disease share several risk factors, such as obesity, hypertension, diabetes, and dyslipidemia abnormal blood lipid levels. These factors can increase the likelihood of developing both conditions. Systemic inflammation. Elevated uric acid levels, a characteristic of gout, can contribute to systemic inflammation, which is linked to an increased risk of cardiovascular disease. Inflammation can lead to the development of atherosclerosis, the buildup of plaque in the arteries, which can restrict blood flow and increase the risk of heart attack and stroke. Management of cardiovascular disease in gout patients. Addressing cardiovascular disease in gout patients involves a combination of lifestyle modifications, dietary changes, and appropriate medications to manage both conditions effectively. Lifestyle modifications may include increasing physical activity, maintaining a healthy weight, quitting smoking, and managing stress. Dietary changes should focus on a balanced diet low in purine-rich foods, high in fruits and vegetables, and containing moderate amounts of whole grains, lean proteins, and healthy fats. If you've enjoyed this video and helped you learn more about gout, please be sure to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell so that each week we release a brand new, life-saving video, you'll get notified right away.